Hi folks, Paul here. I've had some problems with my batteries. Let me show you. So, I have just come back from uh, three days away and when I got back, this voltmeter which measures the voltage on the whole, all the packs, was reading just under 24 volts. Now normally my system is running around 27 volts, so 24 is actually uh, really low for, my, for me. Um, and then the other thing that was happening was I was getting no current showing on my charge controller from the solar panels. That led me to wonder if there was some problem with my uh, charge controller, whether the charge controller had died. Then the other thing that was happening was um, the voltages on these routes here were pretty low, pretty low, and then this pack here was below 2.4 volts. So there was a, something really badly wrong here. And then with the power shelf, when I put a, my little silly little um, meter on that, uh, it showed that this pack was um, about 2.7 volts, this group, um, and the others were um, around 3.5. So there was some issues there. So the first thing that I did was uh, disconnect this pack and dis disconnect that from the rest of the system. Then um, I remembered that I have had last week I'd installed this low voltage disconnect and it was set to disconnect the load if the voltage got down to 22.8 volts. So then I noticed that and then I noticed that the inverter was off and I noticed that my web server was off. Uh, so what that indicated, that indicated that the low voltage disconnect had triggered, so the pack had gone down below 2.8 volts um, and then had come back up because it was back up to just under four, uh, 24 volts. So it was a bit of an interesting situation and the, the candidates were some kind of problem with my solar charge controller or one of the cells in one of the packs had um, died badly enough to drag everything else down. As I was explaining to a friend of mine today uh, how there was no current coming in from the solar panels, we measured the voltage on the solar panels and that was fine, 35 volts at the, the panels. So the solar panels were okay, the voltage going in was okay, uh, it just wasn't recognising that current. Um, and then as I was pointing to this charge controller, it suddenly jumped up to 5 amps. And uh, so it turns out that the problem was this screw holding in this cable had never been tightened. And um, up until the weekend, it had been touching just enough to run perfectly fine and then for whatever reason it got slightly loose enough to be intermittent and so my understanding of what happened to the whole system now is that that became disconnected over the course of three days there was no charging of the system going on and so the loads that I had plugged in slowly drained the batteries and then my newly installed low voltage disconnect kicked in and um, prevented the batteries from being um, killed entirely. But this group here went below 2.4 volts which is really low, um, and so I brought them over here to investigate. We separated the two groups, 
and left them for half an hour to see if they would drift apart and this one ended up at 2.54 volts and this one's 2.47 volts so we figured um, if we were going to find a problem it's more likely to be in the lower voltage pack um, so right now I'm, I'm recharging this pack back up to um, 4 volts and I'm thinking that that's going to be okay hopefully um, and then I thought okay if there is let's assume that the, the reason this uh, group was lower than all the other groups is because one or more of the cells has gone bad then assuming that the bad cell is in this pack here in order to identify which actual pair is the, the bad one we decided to desolder all the fuses so that we could measure them leave it to sit there and then measure the voltages across all the cells and as we were doing that we came down to this one here and I noticed that this fuse had blown and this had, fuse had blown which is a, a weird scenario. Then I also noticed that um, the fuse from here to here was um, blackened. The fuse over here, the, what was left, was blackened and this one here was blackened as well, which suggested that this one had been heated up quite high um, and this one had heated up quite high and blown. So the best, uh, which is a really bizarre scenario, why would, if there was a single cell or pair that had gone bad in this pack, um, why would I get these two blowing and these two almost blowing? And after thinking about this for a while, the conclusion I've come to and uh, please let me know if you if this makes sense to you um, or if you can think of a better better explanation the conclusion I've come to is that when I was installing this I possibly probably um, accidentally shorted these two connections the negative bus bar and the positive bus bar and so for a very short space of time there was a lot of current flowing from the through the cells and the maximum current would be flowing through these cells closest to the short and because my nickel plated steel strapping has a small amount of resistance as you get further away from a short the current would decrease and that would explain why um, you'd get fuses blowing or nearly blowing um, at this end and not at the other end. So that's my explanation for why this whole group was so much lower um, when placed under the whole pack, when the whole pack was placed under stress uh, because it was missing um, four cells out of the uh, what is it 48 out of the 48 cells um, which would cause this group to have a lot less capacity um, so that's what I think has happened then if that's true then this is probably this will be okay because I only would have shorted this pack this group um, this will be fine so I'm recharging that and I hope to slap that back into the system then then the question is what should I do with this if my theory about having shorted these um, bus bars at this end is correct when I, when I was doing that then this group should be fine because that wasn't connected when I was mucking about 
Um, this has been dragged down below 2.4 volts, which is bad, but um, not terrible. Um, it's potentially recoverable, uh, and it's currently got 27 amp hours pumped into it um, from 2.5 volts, and it's now sitting at 4.1, and it's happily taking juice. So I think that, I'm hopeful, hopeful that that's going to be okay. But now the question is, what do I do about this? My options are to solder new fuses back onto it, uh, charge it up and see if it's going to be okay. Or I could um, charge each individual pair up and make sure that their, their capacities are still okay. That's probably the most sensible thing to do, but it's incredibly time consuming. Um, and then another option is to um, build up another, another group and use that. Uh, I've got a bit of work to do to recharge these ones um, and test their capacity. Uh, so, in the meantime, I'd love to hear what you think I should do with these ones, whether I should just um, slap it back together and give it a go, or be sensible and um, test the capacity of each individual pair before um, moving ahead. Let me know what you think. Love to know. Um, thanks for watching. Cheers.